Hey everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. Let me take you to the trip from Gurgaon to Mumbai. Yes, we recently shifted in Mumbai. If you haven't seen my Diwali vlog where I showed you a clip of uh, my house in Mumbai. So, this is how it all went. So, let me take you through. We did move a couple of times before uh to be exact uh, six times in uh, 11 years of marriage but uh, this was the first time we were moving from one city to another with so much of luggage and uh, furniture crockery so we hired professional packers i'm sharing some of the clips how they packed everything which might help you or guide you to pack your crockeries if you are planning to do it yourself so uh, my learning from the way they packed was they used a lot of bubble wrap and just in case you're doing it yourself uh, try and use uh, old newspapers these uh, corrugated uh, boxes that we get for a lot of shipping so they shredded that and they used that that was pretty eco friendly as well if uh, you do not want to use it then uh, you can use your old bed sheets and uh, pillow covers your pillows uh, for that matters cushions and pillows to pack your crockeries to stuff uh, things in between so there is less movement when they are packed inside large cartons I packed my clothes, my important papers, all by myself. Uh, that was one thing that I like to do, even uh, <laughs> shifting into city, because uh, the way I'll handle these things will be very different from way the packers would handle. So it's personally my preference, but I would highly encourage you to pack all your important documents yourself. All packets are ready, and. just like that my whole living dining area was packed with carton boxes i would not encourage you to overwhelm yourself with lots and lots of different types of food keep lots of tea bags if you are one who likes to drink milk tea then uh, Order small packets of milk. We also kept cornflakes for Ishi, some granola for Anshuman, breads. We hogged on to this olive jar. We didn't send it across, so I kept one or two uh, heavy bottom pots and pans just to, you know, quickly boil milk or make tea because we were going after almost two days. uh after all the packing has been done the salt sugar so these are small small things that you can keep to grab a quick snack i boiled some potatoes after dicing it and it came out really well and i'll just show you how i made my mashed potatoes and uh, fire roasted breads it was a very simple recipe adding these uh, pizza seasoning just brought a very different uh, flavor and taste just in case you're not a fan of italian seasoning or anything if you want to keep it into a very indian taste palette you can also chop some green chilies and some coriander fresh coriander leaves and it will still taste really delicious add a hint of lemon so one day we made this one the other day uh, we made this uh, mashed potatoes with salt lemon and coriander leaves
I also made some fresh paneer and uh, this just added some extra protein to our food. It's super easy to make. Just boil milk and add a squeeze of lemon and you get a fresh uh, homemade paneer. All I can say is do not overwhelm yourself for cooking at home. If you can, make some dry snacks, keep it handy. For us, we kept lots of granola and uh, cookies and some dried snacks that we like to eat and uh, that really kept us going and uh, we kind of avoided eating out. We also had this uh, ready to eat khichdi mix that I made at home and some poha mix as well. That These were super easy to uh, make and let me know if you want to see the process how I make all this. So even when I'm traveling somewhere I do keep all this because we avoid eating as much as possible outside. Be extra cautious when you are doing this uh, on like this naked plane. Uh, I'm pretty used to it. Uh, so just in case you're not able to handle uh, hot flames or things like that, do not do it. Just don't do it, okay? So just plain simple toast with loads of butter and some potato mash. These are some of the pictures. I have kept it in my memory gallery. It just reminds me how much fun we had and it was time to say goodbye to Gurgaon. It's always so hard. I have so many memories of uh, this place. I just can't state in, in just one video. I'm so over emotional about this and even when I was leaving and when I reached Mumbai, I, I was all into tears <laughs> but just as they say life goes on the show must go on and here we are in our Mumbai flat this is our living dining room area and uh, just a reminder that uh, our Gurgaon flat was somewhere around 18 1900 square feet and this is somewhere 800 to 900 square feet so you can understand we almost slashed it down to half the size so a lot of decluttering lot of uh, you know moving around the furniture adjusting so a lot of things happened so i'm planning to put my dining table in this particular area right next to the entryway i'm not a fan of this layout to be honest but this is what it is uh, and this particular area is uh, going to be our uh, living area this is the view this is a view from all our rooms so and we are so happy that we can see a green patch and uh, I'm planning to put my sofa and uh, everything here we just So once you are uh, walking from this area, this is a hallway that leads straight to the master bedroom and the other two rooms. Now towards my left, right, the first left is the kitchen. Kitchen is pretty decent size if I say so, a lot of counter space. And I like uh, this black countertop though I'm not a big fan of 
this uh, I don't know beigey kind of backdrop would have been my house I would have changed it to all white so yeah this is uh, what it is but I'm so glad that I have a lot of counter space here to work which was not there in my Gurgaon flat if you remember hey if you haven't checked out my kitchen makeover video from my Gurgaon flat then you should I have shared so many uh, videos of that flat I'll link the entire video uh, playlist for you guys to see and I've shared lots and lots of tips so this particular area I'm planning to make it into a mandir area I have plans for this particular area also and uh, Though they, they have given some this kind of a pipe or something, I don't know how I'm going to use that. But uh, that's the plan. And my washing machine and my dishwasher is going to come this side. So mandir on this side and rest of the appliances would be on this side. So it is absolutely separate from everything else. Plus this is my uh, northeast corner of the home. And this is my little room, uh, which I'm going to transform it into my uh, home studio or my home work office or whatever it is. I have big plans for this room. So let's fingers crossed. I will take you to this journey as well. I'm going to transform this area. This is the uh, second bedroom or which we are going to transform it into Ishi's bedroom and we have a full wardrobe in this bedroom which I'll just show you in a second and on this particular wall I'm planning to place the bed and uh, this is this is how the room is pretty decent size I think queen bed will fit easily and from here I step into master bedroom right but right opposite to this bedroom is the washroom and it is convenient and at the same time very easy to access This is how the bedroom looks like, hello. And uh, this is the master bedroom. Again, the size of the bedroom is pretty decent. Uh, but the only problem here is that we have two pillars in this room. If I don't know if uh, my phone is able to do that justice. Uh, we have full wardrobes again in this room. And... Uh, I'm planning to organize each and every wardrobe absolutely and I'll be sharing entire trip of organizing and makeover of this flat so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can show it to many other people and I'm going to show each and every corner and this again is my home office or studio I keep coming back to this room thinking how I'm going to place everything so please do hit that subscribe button it means a lot and yes I have thought about uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway and I'll be announcing this on uh, my Instagram this week it has been long pending and I'm announcing this on this weekend that is on Friday so do stay tuned Follow me on Instagram at Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.